just around the river bed. What I love most about rivers is you can't step on the same river twice. Oh, oh brings memories. <laughs> Hello Munchkins! So I shot this video like a whole year ago but somehow I just got into my own head because I have like serious, serious chronic procrastination like it's really serious. Anyway, so I was going through like the footage and I realized like um, most of the things like um, I thought I'll do like a fun um, 30 random facts about me when I was 30. Well now I'm no longer 30. So but when I shot it I was like oh! This will be like really fun and a lot of them like still make sense because it was like stuff like in my 20s and that sort of thing so and i wanted to look at this video later on like when i'm older and use it like as a reference point which is why i thought i'll share it right now so anyway let's just jump into the video so to get started i thought i'll start with my name because i love my name so number one so my name shina easton is actually from the musician shina easton so she was like a, a pop kind of like a musician artist for back then i don't know what year so I would say like the 1980s but i'm not sure what year so please don't quote me on that but also fun fact there's also um a movie on shina which is shina the queen of the jungle yes if you haven't watched it maybe watch it but it's like an old movie i think it was also like some back then back then i want to say like 80s but again i'm not so sure so don't quote me on that but I do remember watching it when i was young and i just thought like Wee! we have like like a powerful female of the tarzan version yeah <laughs> So fact number two, I wear glasses, even though I like to pretend that I don't wear glasses, I do. I'm very blind, as blind as a bat. So yes, I do wear my glasses from time to time, more like all the time. <laughs> and then fact number three, I'm actually cross-eyed. So usually when I take out my glasses or like um, when I look at myself like in the mirror, it's hard for me to look at the mirror directly. It's hard to explain. So my eyes tend to go cross-eyed. So basically, like when it comes to selfies, I'm not good at taking selfies because I always feel like I can't look at the lens properly because it's a reflection. I don't know if that makes sense. But as well, but if you're talking to like the camera, you're talking directly at it. So there's nothing reflecting. So I'm, so I'm able to look at it. But uh, basically is what I mean when I say I'm cross-eyed. So if I look above here at my reflection, you'll see my eyes like divert <laughs> see that diverts like I can't look at myself directly if I'm looking at myself if that makes sense <laughs> and usually I can do it for both eyes um let's see the other eye yeah there you go so that goes that way but yet I'm looking directly but right now I'm looking at you guys so they both come back to you guys so yeah fact number three I'm cross-eyed <laughs> So fact number four, I went to both um, systems, 844 and uh, IGCSC when I was younger. So I've gone through both academic systems. So I feel like I got the best of both worlds, 844 and IGCSE. So usually I feel like I can relate with people from both sides of the academic studies. Okay, so fact number five. Oh. I wanted to be a writer when I was younger. Yeah, so actually even because later on I actually took journalism like um, mass communication at some point of time. But when I was young, I wanted to be a writer. I remember telling my father about this and he was like, how many writers do you know? And oh, authors, yeah, how many authors do you know? And I was like, um, not that many, like I started naming them. He was like, oh, okay, and how many books are there? And I was like, many, a ton, there's so many. Then my dad was like, so you have to be the best if you're going to be a writer. And I was like, <sighs> So in a way, it was a good thing because it makes you, I guess, really think about stuff. And on being a writer, I really loved composition in school and essays. I, I honestly thrived in writing um, essays and compositions. I just felt like it was my element. Like every time you have those 40 minutes and uh, you're given the paper and you have like this continuation story that you're meant to continue. Like uh, one day I was walking in the woods and then dot, dot, dot. Those ones, oh my god, I used to love them so much. I was always like so excited to get them. I always felt like 40 minutes was never enough. I felt like I had so much to say. And I was always like, you look around and you're like, poor finished. I'm like, well, what are you guys doing? Like, there was always like so much. So, there's always those students who got like 38 out of 40. And anytime I got like below, <laughs> I'll be like, the teacher was being unfair to me. But anyway, I really liked insurance and no not insha insha was a different story sorry <laughs> i really liked um composition and essays and i just i thrived on them so fact number six i've actually experienced um what you call sleep paralysis and it's something that's really like it's a bit scary when you experience it because usually you're like um awake but then your muscles are not fully awake so it's like your brain is awake but then your body muscles are not awake or something like that and it's normally so scary i'm not even going to lie like i remember um 
a few times I've experienced it, it's normally like I always feel like something is coming for you and I feel like I want to say like demons okay just because we watch movies and stuff but it always feels that way it's like usually you're like, you're like asleep and then like you see this dark shadow coming for you and it's like trying to get at you and you're like screaming and yelling but you can't get out of where you are you're just like completely paralyzed and then you try and move your arm or your leg and you're like move move and it's not moving but yet you can see your arm and you're like it's just not moving but you're doing everything you can in your whole body to move it and the shadows are coming for you so it's like you're in some sort of pit some sort of like um just i guess paralysis in general it's kind of like actually if you watch the movie uh, get out it kind of feels that way like when he's falling down um when he's looking through um his eyes at the lady she's giving him the tea and he's falling down this dark pit and he's just yelling and he's like crying and yelling out for help but no one can hear him his body is just paralyzed but inside there's like turmoil him trying to yell yeah that's how it feels it's pretty scary these days i don't experience it much but i used to before i have no idea where it comes but it's it's quite scary when you do experience it fact number seven is i love african earrings yay and i feel like that's most of the jewelry that i wear it's normally like african related from this type the wooden earrings the ones like with the beads the ones with like um the thread i just love african earrings in general i love the color i love the pop i love them with the head wraps as well let's just i really love that african look <laughs> Which brings me next to fact number eight. I'm actually not very fond of jewelry, so other than my African earrings and um, like the head drops that I mentioned, I'm really not bad. I'm really not big on like um, I even forgot what they're called. See, bangles. <laughs> yeah so i'm not big on like bangles or um the anklets or like normal necklaces i'm i've just never really been a person who's like very big into jewelry i think some of it has to do with like cooking because it's really hard to cook when you have jewelry on i know some people do it but i don't know for me it's not something that i'm really into and then number nine is going to be a bit different from most people i've got a huge fan of shopping i because a lot of women are really into shopping that's like clothes shopping bags shopping all that stuff since i was young as far back as i can remember i've not been i've never been a big fan of shopping like i've always looked at shopping as a chore it's just so tiring and uh i've never been into it and for me i remember i used to tell my sister this i'll be like my ideal shopping would be like if I had like a clone of me and the person is the exact same size, same everything as me, just their, their own person. So then they'll go out and get clothes and then come and wear them in front of me. So they're like my personal shopper in a weird way and then wear them and then I'll see how it looks on them and be like, okay, I like that one. No, I don't like that one. That sort of thing. And then I'll pick what I like according to the it looks of them. And I'm like, yay, done. I'm done with my shopping. That's, that'll be my ideal world of how I would want my shopping to be. <laughs> Which I know is so lame, but honestly, I've never been a fan of just going into um, shops and shopping, or even going to toy market and looking through clothes. Oh, I find it so tiring and so exhausting. It's just, it's not for me. And also, I guess being in the sun, especially going to toy market, the heat. I've actually fainted from heat exhaustion. That's actually, it's a fact. A couple of times, not even once. So I guess that coupled with heat, like I've always known. Every time I go shopping and I'm under the sun, I have to drink a lot of fluid, like lots. Of fluid so I guess that's why I just don't like the whole shopping experience but when it comes to kitchen stuff on the other hand I could spend a whole day looking at kitchen gadgets looking at kitchen equipments you name it I could spend all my time in there so I guess we just have different things we like shopping for and then fact number 10 I love going to restaurants so any kind of restaurants I really enjoy being in the um, the ambience of restaurants for me sometimes it's not really so much of the food even though I like seeing what um, is being cooked in other restaurants just knowing what other chefs are doing I just love the ambience of just being in restaurants like when you go to new places that have come up the decor the design um, just being in there oh I just I feel so immersed in the whole zone I just I normally love it so much and fact number 11 I love water activities Activities. this is anything related to do with water oh my god I can't get enough of being in the water I think as far back as I can remember I was not those people who are very big on working out when it came to like school I was always trying to <laughs> deviate but I always went for swimming so every time we had like a choice of other activities to do mine was always swimming I always chose to do swimming and I just love it so like when you go to coast and everything like I'll be there you have to go for snorkeling like all those water activities from snorkeling to jet skiing oh my god it's it's just like you have to really be immersed in the water situation like I just love being in water it's so refreshing it's so zen it's so chilled it's just it makes me feel so alive I just feel so happy being in water it's very very relaxing 
fact number 12 my kind of music is old school music and this is like um i guess all kinds of old school from r and of course like modern r and that sort of thing to like old school music like guys of um like otis reading that's kind of oh, that kind of music it just it gets to my soul because it's like so deep uh green such guys oh then there's also country music or oh, like country music guys like guys like um shana twain oh i, I, I can't feel the music like dancing already in my head <laughs> i'm very really used i love old school music so i feel like part of me was born in the wrong era just because i really enjoy that sort of like a uh, deep soul melodic like it's i just love old school music there's something about it these arms of mine they don't impressing me much oh 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 so you got the moves but haven't got the touch don't get me wrong baby think you're all right but that won't keep me warm in the middle of the night. Ooh, that's not impressing me much. Okay, that's your dad too. I used to love that song. I think part of it's because my dad used to love old school music so much. <laughs> so we were brought up listening to all these artists from like all sort of genres honestly from guys like brenda farsi like uh, that south african that sort of thing to like i said otis redding that kind of music it's it's really deep i feel like it's really deep inside my soul yeah so fact number 13 is that i was obsessed with bollywood movies like i used to love the classic old school bollywood movies like um actually remember the days this was like things like um what was the movie um kabikushi kabigam <laughs> kuch kuch hotahe um doshi karoge i don't even pronounce it that right but oh my god i used to love these movies so much from the actors riti Roshan. <laughs> like i used to know their names um kajol oh I used to love this actors. Shahrukh Khan, obviously, I, I really had like a phase of just loving Indian movies, the, being immersed in it, the culture, the way the movies would come to life um, when they have to do like a dance number after every scene. It was absolutely mind-blowing. Oh my god, Fana. Oh my god, I love that movie so much. I've just remembered it. Anyway, besides the point. So, I used to really love Bollywood movies. Okay which brings me to fact number 14 my favorite kind of movies are like uh, the mind-blowing movies that require you to really think be deep in thought a medieval kind of movies so i just love those kind of movies those kind of shows as well game of thrones yeah medieval love those kind of shows mind-blowing movies for me would be uh, movies like inception oh my god i loved inception shutter island i just i love the way the whole movie is set up it really makes you really really think so i just love such movies in general fact number 15 is that i can't stand pop kids i ate them a lot when i was young so as an adult i just i just can't stand pumpkins even though i usually eat a butternut squash i don't mind it but when it comes to pumpkin pumpkin it's it's another story altogether <laughs> and then fact number 16 is also can't stand fresh cow's milk again i had it way too much when i was young and it was always so rich because it will be milked directly from the cow and then it will be boiled and then you'd have it and it was just so rich because the cream would come to the top like right now when i think about it i get nauseated like i cannot stand it i had way too much of it so i prefer the packeted milk which yeah i know but anyway i just i can't stand fresh milk like i can't even i can smell it from milk so i even taste it i'm always like yeah mm, mm, mm. Like, I, I feel the gag reflex coming up <laughs> My fact number 17 is like I like buying kitchen stuff which I mentioned earlier I like shopping for kitchen stuff I just I love it I love shopping for anything that's kitchen related it makes me happy I can spend all day in there this is shopping for vegetables anything to do with food related gadgets equipments all that stuff like I could just walk into the supermarket and just look at kitchen equipment like almost all day kitchen cutlery go to the market and just look at um vegetables or fresh herbs which brings me to the next fact which is fact number 18 i just love fresh herbs the smell of fresh herbs fresh mint um fresh rosemary it just it does something to me it's like when you go out to the market or even the supermarket and you just see this array of green um herbs or vegetables it just it speaks to my soul and sometimes i can't resist i just see fresh mint or fresh rosemary or fresh fresh dania and i'm like i just want to pick all of them and i'm like i'm going to make like some sort of sauce out of it and sometimes i end up wasting them which i feel really bad but every time i see like fresh mint i find all these things to make with it like i could make like a sauce like um a dressing i could make uh, a different sauce to go with like mint i could make it into a tea 
like i use fresh meat like for almost everything i can think of i just in general i just really love fresh herbs and then fact number 19 is that i love black pepper and honestly i use black pepper i would say like 99 percent of my cooking it's pretty much in everything that i can think of like i love black pepper in my eggs in my chicken <laughs> tomato dishes all those dishes tea even like when you're making like the chai masala sort of thing i boil mine with some fresh uh, black pepper i just i love black pepper in general it, it works for everything i feel like it's that wonder spice fact number 20 is that i love pilau ah, i don't know what to say i once made pilau and i ate it for like a week continuous like dinner lunch um <laughs> like dinner lunch breakfast that sort of thing like it was continuous and i if you actually look at my channel you'll notice like some of the recipes i said earlier was actually pilau so i have like um i think it's a maton pilau recipe and a chicken pilau recipes then i have like how to make the pilau spices how to make your water for the pilau like i'm obsessed with pilau like hey pilau speaks to my soul like it's it's those things like when i go to coast i must have pilau and i must have tikka like i cannot come back without eating pilau i just i love pilau <laughs> so i had to make sure i knew how to make it fact number 21 is my favorite versatile snack is yogurt and that's just because i feel like with yogurt you can make so many things from it's being um healthy and it's like a healthy snack so you can have it plain you can use it in dressings which i love to do it makes it like a nice healthier option instead of using like mayonnaise you could also use it in placement of milk again you could use it in things like pancake if you don't have milk um you could also dilute it and have it as a drink if you want to you can add it to smoothies i feel like it works for everything you can use it to marinate it's it's so versatile i just i feel like it works in everything in general and one of my favorite yogurt desserts is usually when you combine like um, and this works for breakfast as well you combine uh yogurt with raw oats or uncooked oats with some honey or some fruits in there and just mix everything together or layer it like in a in a glass oh i always just love that it's just it's really so light and so healthy and so so filling at the same time i just love it let's just say i love yogurt in almost everything <laughs> and natural yogurt that is by the way Fact number 22 is that I am a hoarder. If you watched my turning 30 uh, vlog, I did mention that about I'm trying to declutter. So it's not something I'm very proud of. I just know, like, since I can remember, I've always had this thing for just um, holding on to stuff or not throwing out stuff. Like, I keep receipts from God knows when. And, like, in my wallet, it's just full of receipts. So <laughs> it's really bad. And, like, when you go through them, you're like, okay, I need to throw this, I need to throw that. I'm always like, what if I need it later? Like, I can't explain it. It's really bad. So I'm trying to do my best um, to declutter like small parts of my life. Fact number 23 is that I'm not very big on makeup. I just, I don't know. It's it's just never been something that I guess I, I really got into. I don't know what to say. Like, it just wasn't a thing. And I really admire people who take the time to do their makeup. Like my sister, oh my God. She does such amazing work on her face and um, her hair and all that. Like, she really goes into depth. And I remember looking at her and I'm like, oh my God. Like, it looks like it just was whipped up like in a second. But it's something that took time. And I always admire people who are able to do that. But for me personally, it's just never been something that I gravitated to. Even when, remember when I was younger or anything for prom, I was always just the person for Vaseline on my lips or like <laughs> lip balm. But let's just say other than lipstick, I feel like if you watch all of my other videos, mostly I only have lipstick on. I just, I'm not very big on makeup. So yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Fact number 24 is that I once walked into a clear window at the British Council um, where you'd go to register for a GCSE exam or something like that. I, yeah, all those people, you know how you have these clear doors? Like I actually went and walked through one, like I, I hit my head like pop like literally and i remember my sister and my brother laughing at me it was not funny at the time but now looking back at it i was like really i don't know how that happened it was so it was so embarrassing <laughs> it was like in the movies when you watch it and it it actually happened yeah fact number 25 is that i don't like pets i'm not a huge fan of pets when it comes to i guess cats or dogs or anything like that like i'll tolerate them if you have a pet like i wouldn't be someone who'd have like a dog or a cat in their house like pets actually they're not they're not for me i always think of like the farm and what they'll leave then have to clean up after the pet it's it, it's not for me let's just say that and i can't imagine sometimes like the pets like on your skin or are you like yeah what is it called that firing it is that what you call it okay those pet stuff that people do i've brought into pets let's just put it that way even though a few of my friends have pets like cats and dogs Let's just say do my best to keep calm. They know this. I do my best to keep calm and just be like, okay, 
the dog is licking you just do not do anything drastic <laughs> Fact number 26 is that I used to love smelling my hair when I was younger. I still do it these days, but not often. So I'll just get my hair and just <sighs> smell it. <laughs> I can't explain how it smells. It usually smells of, I like that smell of uh, when your hair like smells kind of like dust and um, water in it. I, I really love that smell and like the oils in the hair. This is kind of like, you know when it's rained and then the water has just touched the ground so the dust has just been like kissed by the rain and it's just kind of started to lift. Like that's how I feel like when I smell my hair and there's that smell of that water, dust and my oils in it. It's just... <sighs> it smells so amazing! <laughs> And my family always used to think I was weird for doing and my family always used to think I was do, weird for doing that But it's just something I've always loved doing fact number 27 is that I'm an introvert and I've honestly had to like Train myself sometimes to just uh, be more around people attending a lot of forums so people are there so that you can just get yourself more out there and again being on camera or talking like about food for me whenever I'm talking about food on camera I feel like it comes off very natural because I just feel like I know what I'm doing so I just I love that connection with the camera when I'm talking about food but when it's not I guess um, it's like it's something I've had to work on but in general usually I'm an introvert and I feel like I thrive in like quiet um places places that are just relaxing ambience like i mentioned earlier the restaurant thing i like going to such places that are not overly crowded fact number 28 is i'm a savory tooth kind of person so i'm not really into sweet stuff so given the choice of the two obviously i'll usually gravitate towards more savory stuff like i mentioned earlier i've eaten pilau like for a whole week i just love savory food when it comes to that combination of the salt and um the fattiness of food i just i love that combination and i just i don't feel like anything can really beat it it just i love eating like real food food like real food <laughs> and none of that like snacks actually growing up i wasn't brought up on snacks like things like crisps and the likes like i was always brought up on food like things like mukimo um rice rice and changanisho like um kanyama fry like fry oh my god that was like um fried meat oh yes <laughs> Like I was that person who was brought up on food food and I just loved it Fact number 29 is that my favorite Disney animation was Pocahontas. Oh my god. I loved Pocahontas like when it came on screen Oh, I used to love it. I remember my sister and I watching Pocahontas like continuously like for a month Like we just kept watching it. It was like our go-to um, Animation every time we had nothing to watch even though she was more of a Lion King fan I was always like Pocahontas like any time you ask me what should we watch Pocahontas? Yeah, like I just loved it and I used to love all the songs they used to have like the one for the wind Oh the colors of the wind <laughs> just around the river bed what i love most about rivers is you can't step on the same river twice oh, oh brings memories <laughs> just around the river bed and fact number 30 is that i'm actually 30 years old so 30 facts for me being 30 yay okay so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i'll definitely appreciate that so i really hope you guys enjoyed the 30 random facts about me because i definitely enjoyed sharing them and it brought back memories from when i was young it's good memories <laughs> so remember to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye